is silent reading important? Reading as a life skill is a silent process. Think about what you read. How many of those things do you read aloud? In our practical everyday life, we mostly read silently. Silent reading helps us to read faster. It helps us to make faster connections between words. And it gives us the silence that we need to concentrate and process information. But how do we teach this major life skill? Teaching reading for pleasure and understanding requires an emphasis on silent reading. And the earlier we start, the better. Silent reading should always precede oral reading. And you may think your young student does not know enough letters or words to be able to read silently. But let's use the analogy of teaching a child to ride a bike. When do you introduce the bike? Right away, of course, you choose a bike that's easy for your child to manage. You equip it with training wheels and give him a purpose for riding the bike. You encourage him to sit on the bike and learn to balance. You guide him to keep from falling and you challenge him to try it on his own with guidance as long as it is needed. And you provide other opportunities for him to ride in a variety of situations. And so it is with reading. You begin by choosing reading material that fits your child's ability, whether just letters, one-syllable words, or paragraphs. You equip him with strategies to decode letters into words and introduce vocabulary to help him focus on meaning. You give him a specific purpose for reading and encourage his curiosity about the reading material. You guide the discussion with good questions to build his comprehension, and you challenge him to read silently on his own but stay nearby to answer questions. And you provide other opportunities for him to read a variety of genres. We are intentional every step of the way so that he can learn to read well. But why is it so hard for us to allow our students to read silently? You can't see what's happening in the brain. Does he really understand? Reading silently is taking in words without saying them aloud, but letting him build a world in his mind. When your student reads silently, he forms mental pictures about the topic being read and discussed. It also allows him to practice it in his mind before reading it out loud. Think of it as pre-reading. Silent reading improves a student's understanding because it helps him to concentrate on the meaning of what he's reading rather than on the pronunciation of individual words. So developing a thoughtful reader begins with motivating your student and giving him a purpose for reading each selection by asking questions. Why am I reading this? What am I looking for? What do I expect? How does this connect with that? Who, what, when, where, how, and why? Discussion questions before, during, and after silent reading help develop higher level thinking skills. And this allows him to simultaneously decode the printed words and process the meaning at his own pace. Your student will begin to notice the craft of the author. He will evaluate the content based on the biblical truths he has learned, and he will expect a message every time he looks at print. These are the goals of the silent reading strategy. Reading habits and attitudes fostered as we talk about each selection will extend to a lifelong habit of satisfying independent reading for comprehension and enjoyment. Is it worth the extra effort required to teach effective silent reading? Absolutely.